What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we got our best beginner's guide for the brand new mobile game, Ace Racer. Like and subscribe for more amazing mobile gaming content. When you first start off, you're gonna be met with a difficult choice, not really. Your starting car. So you have three different ones to choose from. You have the Aries, the Volkswagen, and the BMW. Each one represents a different type of car. So you have an interceptor, a support, and finally a speedster car also has things that they're good at and also a different ultimate ability so you'll see this one has auto navigation fast cornering so if you're looking to get one of every type of vehicle the game immediately already gives you an aston martin which is the speedster role and then if you're re-rolling you want to try and re-roll for the disruptor which is going to be an interceptor type and when you first start off and you have to choose between those three types i would go ahead and choose the support vehicle so that way you can start off with one of each type of vehicle and that way you can get a really good start on the game next up while you're waiting for the game to download the additional files you're gonna have a beginner's draw in the top right corner and you can go ahead and you can re-roll up to 50 times the main items you're gonna be looking for are universal parts. The other thing that you can also be looking out for is the discipline. I just actually pulled it. It's going to increase my charge rate by 6.7% when the ultimate hits, but it is only available for interceptor vehicle types. All right, so I am at my 26th reroll, and I think this is the one I'm gonna keep. I got one discipline, we got one universal parts. These blueprints are specific to the car that is named, so you can only use that to upgrade that specific car. But check this out, we got a disruptor. <laughs> So I am definitely gonna keep this because I really wanted this car. So this is my reroll right here, a Disruptor. That is an amazing car to get. So we're gonna go ahead, we are gonna confirm. This is probably the best car that you can get from rerolling for the beginner's 10 draw. So if you can get this like I did, then you are pretty much set. You'll also notice this is an Interceptor roll. Next up, we're gonna head over to the settings and we have our driving modes. I'm gonna highly suggest you use the manual mode. The one touch mode is so bad because when you try and steer left or right, it immediately uses the drift feature. I tried this one out and it was terrible. So just stick to the manual mode. For redeem code, there is currently no known coupons, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Uh, but once we do get some coupon codes, I'll either make another video or I'll just post the codes down below. And then we're gonna head over to assistance and you're gonna go to drift assistance. And I want you to turn this on until you kind of get comfortable with the game. It's gonna really help you out when it comes to drifting and reduce the collisions when you're kind of sliding. So that way you don't hit the walls as much. So this is off by default, so make sure you just turn this on if you're a brand new player and you're not too familiar with the game. Then later on, you can go ahead and turn it off if you want. And another thing is if you are gonna be doing the auto drive where you can go ahead and just click the button and the game kind of drives itself, make sure you turn on auto turbo. That way when you have it in auto mode, it will automatically use the turbo. If you have this off and you're using auto mode, it will not use the turbo. Then go over to display and then just adjust this depending on the device you're using. By default, the frame rate is set to medium. So go ahead and bump it up to high. And then finally, the other thing you wanna do in the settings is make sure you go to bind account and go ahead and enter your email address so that way you can get 100 vouchers. The other big thing you're gonna notice is that there isn't really a bad car in this game. You pretty much wanna use all of them because if you go over to your handbook, you'll have proficiency levels for each car that you own. And as you go ahead and increase that proficiency level with that said car, you're then going to just get a bunch of rewards for free, like gift cards, some gold to help you with upgrades. And it does go by rarity though. So the more rare the car is, the better rewards you're going to get by increasing the proficiency. So for our legendary disruptor, you'll see that we'll get 100 gift cards right here and then 50,000 gold we take a look at one of our less rare cars the bmw one is only going to give us ten thousand gold and then a hundred gift cards and then the aston martin is thirty-five thousand gold and a hundred gift cards so you'll see we get more gold depending on the rarity you're also going to get blueprints as well that can go ahead and help upgrade so it's definitely worth using all of your different cars to kind of get these like additional things and they're really simple like use turbo 10 times and then the first thing i would suggest to new players is go over to race 
and go to your license exam and just go ahead and try and complete all of these. That it's gonna teach you about different tactics in the game. It's going to help you just become a better driver. And aside from that, once you go ahead and complete all of the licenses, you'll get an Aston Martin Vanquish, which is a legendary vehicle as well. And it is a supporter. So this is a really amazing, amazing car probably one of the better support cars in this game. And also make sure you take advantage of the events. There's rookie programs, there's regular events that are going on. I mean, there's a ton. You can get wraps for your cars, cosmetics. You can get cars like this one right here. You can go ahead and get this Nissan GT. We have our journey in pink We're for summoning stuff. We have a treasure hunt that's going on, supercar rewards, grand opening has its own stuff. You have your store rebates where you can go ahead and get some additional things, catalyst rebate, pro racer challenge. I mean, there's so many events to take advantage of that you really don't even need to spend money. The game kind of throws a lot of resources and cars at you. You just have to play it and enjoy it. And the other thing that I would also mention is try and get to proficiency level five as fast as possible. So that way you can go ahead and unlock the ability to join a club, which is pretty much a guild. That just makes things a lot easier and more fun because then you can kind of do team racing with your club members. The other thing is if there is a specific song that you don't like, or maybe you want to make your own playlist because this game does have amazing music, go to the top top right corner where you see the little music icon kind of rotating. And if you click that, you can go ahead and create your own playlist for the different songs that are in the game. And that way you can avoid ones that maybe you don't like. That is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.